Hey guys, let's talk about a Kevin Costner movie, long before Yellowstone, coming up next. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive and Review. I'm Rick. This is the show where we talk about movies, music, and television. Today, I want to talk to you about a movie that's, it's been out for quite some time, but because I like to review older things. This one came to mind. I used to watch it several times back in the day. Kind of put it on the shelf. Saw it the other day. Took it down. Had to go over it. So here we are. We are talking about a movie called Revenge. Which came out in 1990. And it stars Kevin Costner and Anthony Quinn. Now Revenge is rated R. And it has a runtime of two hours and four minutes, uh, one hour, 44 minutes for the director's cut. And then there's a one hour and 55 minute Swedish cut. Interesting. I never knew that there were other cuts of this movie. Hmm. I'm going to have to go do some searching myself. Now, the version that I have is the two hour and four minute cut, which would be the original cut. It has an aspect ratio of... 239 to 1 and it was shot with the Airflex 35 millimeter cameras and the Panavision Primo E-series lenses. This film follows a retired US Navy pilot played by Costner who comes to Mexico where he ends up falling in love with the wife of a very powerful businessman and because of this there are cruel and unforeseen consequences. So Michael J. Cochran who's played by Costner, has just left the Navy after 12 years. He's not quite sure what he'll do, except he knows he wants a holiday. He decides to visit Tibby Mendez, played by Anthony Quinn, who is a powerful but shady Mexican businessman, whom he once flew to Alaska for a hunting trip. Arriving at the Mendez mansion in Mexico, he's immediately surprised by a beautiful and youthful lady who turns out to be Mendez's wife. Their attraction to each other is undeniable but Cochran is aware that Mendez is a powerful, vindictive, and very possessive man who does not tolerate betrayal. Unfortunately, Mendez's wife and Cochran do the deed and it sets fire to a shitstorm that he cannot come back from. This movie was written by Jim Harrison based on the novella Revenge and the screenplay was done by Jeffrey Allen Fiskin. The film was directed by Tony Scott and a little trivia in this film, Tony Scott ever pushing the envelope had the sex scenes between Kevin Costner and Madeline Stowe unrehearsed or unchoreographed in any way whatsoever before shooting. Tony Scott simply set up three cameras and allowed the actors to find their way into the scenes. And I think that shows when you are watching this movie, it doesn't look like your traditionally rehearsed Hollywood sex scenes. Uh, it looks a little more raw, a little more unconventional, um, adding to the realism. So I applaud Tony Scott for his ability to get this done. Great job. So everything seen during the sex scenes was improvised by the actors themselves. When Costner viewed Scott's director's cut of the movie in 2007, he said of these scenes, boy, we really got into it, didn't we? Now, the budget on this movie was $22 million, and during its opening weekend, it made just a hair over $6 million. Unfortunately, the total gross of the movie was about fifteen and a half maybe a little bit more fifteen and a half million dollars so it didn't do as well as they expected it at the box office I'm wondering what it is that maybe I saw in the movie that other people didn't if you saw this movie before leave me a comment and let me know if you liked it or if you didn't and tell me what it is that maybe I'm missing or if you're in agreement with me, leave me that big old thumbs up. So anyway, after surviving the brutal beatdown that the henchmen 
have laid on Kevin Costner's character in this movie. He survives, he recovers, and of course, he goes out to get revenge. Now, I'm not going to give any more of that away in case some of you haven't seen it. You can find this film still in a lot of places, including streaming. I highly recommend that you do try to find it. It is a beautiful film, and Tony Scott does get his point across. After doing my research and finding out that there is another cut of the film, I am curious because the director's cut is actually the shorter cut. So I want to see what was cut out and what was put in and how it comes across. So your boy is on a hunt. I am going to look for that and I'm going to see. And I might even come back and do another episode to attach to this to tell you what I think of it. If you'd like that, leave me a comment as well. Revenge, I know a lot of people didn't like it or didn't get it. I'm not gonna lie, it does hold a special place in my heart for whatever reason, I can't even put a finger on it. I've just always been drawn to the movie. Out of four, I would definitely give it three stars. That's all the time I've got for today, but thanks so, so much for watching. Really appreciate you. Stay positive. Stay blessed. Hey guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that button right there. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. You'll never miss an episode. And speaking of episodes, I got plenty more. You hit that button right there. Again, thank you so, so much. Stay positive. Stay blessed. I'll see you soon.